I like to work out with them because they'll, they'll, they'll sometimes just, they'll just do this and they'll just do this. And then you can think, and then some, as long as there's some trust, you can experiment. If you don't have that trust, then you know, you're always worried the other guy's just gonna punch you, right? But as far as principles, it's actually very straightforward. Um, you just go straight. In theory, in theory, right? And, but the problem is, if you don't have enough confidence, um, like, if you, like if you're here, and, and I'm, and I'm, I'm afraid of being hit, you're pretty much lost already. Right? Because I don't want you to get close, I don't want you to get close, right? I have to be confident enough to be trust my hands, I'll come so I'll wait, and I'm gonna turn to right, I'm gonna turn to right, and that hand's gonna come, right? But I have to be confident, right? Most people aren't, because they'll do this, right? That's a natural reaction, right? You have to be able to say, okay, I'm, I'm, I know that punch is coming, and I have to, right? But very few people will trust their hands. And you can't think about it. Because the moment you think about, oh, he's going to punch me, he's going to punch me. No, I, I don't think about it. I have to. And you don't give him any more. So, it's hard. It's, I mean, you have to... There's no, there's no amount of theory or drills or anything that you can do to really prepare yourself. You really have to go against somebody who actually is, you know, gonna tap you. And then you have to, and you're gonna get hit. When you first train this, uh, you're probably gonna get hit. Um, <laughs> right, right. I mean, if you trust the other guy enough, you, you can trust him to tag you and not really deliver. Uh, I'll move out, just touch your hand. That's it, right? But you have to be under that kind of stress and that kind of pressure. And still, so the ire of the hurricane principles, no matter how crazy you get, I still have to be able to, to focus. To focus right? So you, you have to first get very confident from, confident from your, your training, and then you can try everything. Because, that's, yeah. I mean, when you get, when you get, when you actually, for example, let's say, Here, you just like, no, you have to connect it. You have to connect it. Absolutely. Yeah. I can't just go tap. Yeah. Because I'll give you chances. Even if I grab you and I don't give you any pressure, you just come around. Right? I can't, I can't give you that chance. Right? The moment I touch you, I have to make it so that you can't stand or you can't just empower. Right? If I just grab your hand, it's so easy. Mm. But if you connect, you won't be as long as I can't stand, I'm not going to stand, I can't do this anymore. So you can't stop my hands. You can't just worry about stopping your hands. You engage and connect and you make sure you can't stand it right As soon as you engage, as you soon as you see, the moment you touch, you don't allow it to stand. In the process of training that, you're going to 